Building Better Neighborhoods. News Channel 5's Joe Pakanakis joins me now from Colfax Road in Cleveland, where we've partnered with the Greater Cleveland Habitat for Humanity to help renovate some homes. So, Joe, how is it going? Well, things are going real well right now, Leon. We have tools in hand. We have painting equipment in hand. This is all part of our Building Better Neighborhoods initiative, Habitat for Humanity, the Greater Cleveland chapter working very hard. They've got some great volunteers. This was a vacant home that was uninhabited for more than three years. It started becoming an eyesore. It was a trap for crime. And now, as you can see, volunteers here on the scene painting and renovating this house. This house, again, uh, was vandalized at one point, and now it's being prepared prepared by Greater Cleveland Habitat for Humanity for a needy family. Uh, we'll move over here into the back room right now. You can see that there's spackling going on, painting going on. Chief Investigator Ron Regan here on the scene along with Inspector Sarah Buddison and our Consumer Specialist Jen Strathman. They're painting right now along with these great volunteers. If you come into this room right here, you can actually see Ron working a paintbrush and a roller. This is a sight to be seen. He's actually a very good painter. Don't, don't, let, don't let my wife know I know how to do this now or I'll be in trouble. But it's, it's very rewarding. Joining okay. me now, too, is project manager Rob Grimm. And Rob, why is it so important to reactivate these homes, get them occupied, and find great families for them? Well, Joe, as you know, um, housing is getting more expensive every day. Okay, so being able to come in to a project like this where we can do three rehabs for the cost of what we were doing one house before new construction, we're serving three families instead of one, a lot better deal. Thanks a lot, Rob. This is all made possible with a great grant from the Cleveland City Council, $50,000. Our lunch today being provided by Happy's Pizza. We're going to have complete coverage on News Channel 5 at 5 and 6 o'clock, also on News Channel 5 at 11. So join us then. We're going to be constantly giving you updates both on Facebook and Twitter and on NewsNet5.com. Back to you, Leon, in the studio.